this is Mo and Torrance Fawcett. I'll put the actual serial number in the description. Um, I got two problems with this. Last year or so, I replaced the cartridge because I was getting dirty particles uh, coming out and that fixed the, uh, the dirty particle uh, issue. But now, sometimes I get water running out of here. Uh, you can see a little bit. Doesn't happen all the time, but I think it depends on. Oh, you can see the water sitting out. Okay. And the other problem is this sprayer gets stuck after I push it down. It, it doesn't pop back up. And what I have to do is actually disassemble it and manually pop this back out. So, I called Moen and they sent me the cartridge. Actually, this is the cartridge that I replaced, so. And the cap over the cartridge and this little screw and an Allen wrench. This little screw is the one that goes in in there. And then the uh, the spray. So as you can see, there should be a spring action here. Well, mine gets stuck so it doesn't pop back up. So I was actually surprised. Uh, it was all covered under warranty. Um, I think, let me see, what did they ask me? They asked me when did I buy it, where did I buy it, and you know, I couldn't remember exact time, so I just gave them roughly, you know, what, you know, eight, seven, nine years ago, and I bought it at Lowe's. And that's all that was needed. And uh, they sent the whole thing. Forgot one more item that they sent. So they sent these uh, rubber O-rings. Here's one, and I think this one has two. So basically, I'm gonna replace the internal guts of the uh, faucet. So can you believe that, guys? They sent all these for free. So. These two, I got it within one or two weeks after the call. This one, they had to back order, so I had to wait about six weeks. So I waited until actually I got this, um, so I can do the, the entire video at one time. So the tools you're gonna need is, you're gonna need uh, some kind of pick like this. Uh, even a, maybe a toothpick might work, okay? The reason why you need that is you need to take out this small rubber piece that goes in there. Okay, and uh, sometimes it's easy to get out. Mine uh, came out easily last time when I worked on this, but this time it was actually pushed in uh, quite a bit and I had to really uh, pick on it uh, with this to get it out, okay? So once that's out, you're going to use this Allen wrench, right, in there uh, to take out the screw and I'll go through the, the actual steps. Uh, you're going to need a, a, a crescent wrench like this or a 7 8 inch uh, socket. Uh, last time this worked better because with the crescent wrench, I felt like I was going to break this top, it, it was kind of on there tight, but using this uh, socket made it easier uh, to loosen it. And you might need a, a flashlight if you need to look inside the hole here, um, you know, to line up the uh, your Allen wrench. By the way, this is the faucet model that I have. One more thing on parts. Uh, when I compare the, the parts that I received against the parts that I uh, saw on the diagram, 
the numbers didn't match but the actual parts fit perfectly so I think some of the part numbers are interchangeable so just keep that in mind before we get started make sure you turn off the hot and cold water under the sink first use a some sort of pick or uh, kind of a pointed object to take out the, uh, the small rubber cap um, in my case it was kind of stuck in there so I had to really dig in deeply you're gonna stick the Allen wrench in there and you're gonna pull out the uh, this tiny screw here it's almost out I think it only takes uh, maybe six seven turns This thing just kind of wiggle it and it pops out. Okay, I'm gonna clean all the mess before I put it back in. So, if your cap is kind of tight, uh, try using the uh, socket instead of the uh, crescent wrench. some water in here uh, when you take this out the water is going to spill out so get some paper towel and I was just kind of sucking out the, uh, the water but I got the towel there to catch any water for this black piece I'll show you in more detail uh, it's gonna be wedged in there I had to use one of these you can use a, a screwdriver don't break it uh, even moans didn't send me the extra piece so I, I kind of gently very gently pried up down up on it it didn't take much pressure okay so it's gonna look like this and it's pretty thin plastic so I can easily see it breaking okay after that I just kind of wiggle this a little bit until I felt it was loosened. You see all the water coming out. This is why you want to get a towel here. It's starting to come up and getting stuck, coming up and getting stuck. So just kind of there. Let's take a look at what we got here. This o-ring here is somewhat loose and it's actually very flattened. This one here is in a little bit better condition. So I'm using one of these to get under the, uh, the o-ring. Okay, I popped out one side. As you can see, the, the rubber is kind of, it's worn out. You can see all the black particles coming out. Uh, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but there's some cracks also. And the outer surface is not even you can see they're just kind of falling apart when i rub on it and it feels flat and it's not even so this is the new one and here's the old one now what's interesting is i looked up the part numbers and the new one is actually different part number Okay, I'll 
This is what they sent me, but that's not the part number that I see in the parts diagram for my faucet. So I'll have more details uh, later when I get back to uh, editing the video. But, I mean, I gave her the, uh, the faucet model and she ordered me the right parts for the others. So I think she knew what she was doing. From the naked eye, they look pretty much same. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Okay, same as the last one. I'm using one of these to get underneath the, uh, the O-ring just to pop out one edge and then I'm gonna kinda, in a rolling motion, kinda roll it up rest of the way. Actually, the bottom one's in better shape. It came with the grease, so we gotta apply the grease before we put this back on. Okay, I'm gonna uh, kinda clean up all the gunk that's around here uh, so that things fit more tightly. Okay, so I got most of the uh, big particles that were kinda stuck on there, scraped off. Gotta give it a thorough brushing here. Oh, this came off. So you're supposed to apply some grease. Ah, okay, so this I can feel is uh, much, it didn't say clearly, so I'm gonna actually apply a little bit of grease inside and then to the outside. Okay, I got some grease applied to the inside of the slot where the O-ring goes. Slide the O-ring on there. And then I'm gonna apply some grease to the outside. Actually, come to think of it, they probably need the grease just to the outside. Okay, that's enough for now. All right, then let me get the second one on there. Need to get past the first one. And same thing for the second one. I'm gonna just go ahead and apply some inside as well. Just a thin coat. Okay, I got the O-ring on there. And let me apply some grease to the outside. Actually, they gave us quite a bit of grease, so I'm not sure how much you're supposed to put on. I gotta put uh, a little bit, just a slightly more thicker layer. Probably have more than 50% left. Before I actually put that back in, I'm gonna actually clean uh, I'm gonna do some scraping and uh, brush it and get all that, uh, looks like a mineral built up on there. Okay, next I'm gonna put this back on. It feels a little bit tighter than when it came out because of the O-rings. All right, good. Uh, this is not in all the way. It should move like this. Okay, so that's sitting in all the way. Next is this thing here. 
Remember there's a broken tab? So it's not actually broken, it's, it's by design. Uh, look around the surface here and you should see a, a little notch and that's where this is gonna go. So mine happens to be on the back here. Okay, so I'm gonna install this, the teeth side up. That's in there. Next, I'm gonna put this back in. There's also uh, notches here that's gotta line up. And you notice there's a kind of a two small holes and one large one and they gotta line up. Okay, so that's in there, including this uh, plastic nut. Okay, so we don't wanna tighten this too much, okay? Cause it's a, uh, it's a plastic. Just going very lightly and I'm just gonna go until I feel maybe like a 10 pounds of pressure, okay? Just until it feel, feels snug. Cleaned all that. This is gonna go in there. Cleaned all this. It's gonna fit in there. Okay. I'm gonna use the new screw that they gave me. It's it's actually got the, the blue tape wrapped on there. So now if you notice one side has a hole. This is where your Allen wrench is gonna fit. So don't screw it the other way. Okay, the, the other side doesn't have hole. Again, I'm not super tightening it. I'm uh, doing it about, you know, like I said, maybe 10 pounds or less. Okay, so that's all in there. Before I work on the sprayer, I wanna see if the, uh, the leak is fixed. Get rid of all the water there. Remember last time I showed you this uh, sprayer doesn't work? And I literally have to take this out and pull this thing up manually. Pull this up manually. my mess here from cleaning the lots of parts but right now I'm not seeing any water coming out anywhere. So that's a good sign. This is what they sent me and it looks like I just gotta unplug this from under the cabinet. This is the hose that's uh that sprayer hose. So apparently these things are called uh, hydro, hydro lock. This is the Moen design. And you see these uh, two tabs here. Now, supposedly if you squeeze those, it should pop out to the other side. Okay. Like this, you saw it pop out. Sometimes it's hard to do things with uh, one hand holding the camera and trying to get a light and trying to catch the water. So anyway, I'll clean the water afterwards. But I got a lot of things going on here. So let me pull this out. Hopefully it'll come out with one hand. Ah, it did. Okay, so that's how you disconnect it. So basically, again, you squeeze on these two white tabs, OK? 
Okay, and squeeze and kind of push that way and this thing popped out, it'll allow this uh, to pop out. Okay, now I'm back at the top. Let's just stuck a little bit. Okay. Okay. So it came in all wrapped up in small circles. So I had to kind of stretch it and straighten it out a little bit. I measured the length just to make sure it was the same length. So I'm gonna get this down in there. I got the new hose. Okay, just went in. I'm gonna push this. Okay, you heard the snap. Uh, feels like it's in there pretty tight. Turn on my water switch. Okay, I'm back up here now. Water is good. Let's get the sprayer. Now the spinner shuts off automatically. Just want to make sure I got no leak. And it looks dry. Forgot this piece. When you're all done, stick this in there. I want to give a uh, huge credit to Moen. I mean, how many companies? Do we have left in this world that provide this long of a warranty with this level of service when i called them the lady was just super nice uh she didn't hassle me with the fact that i hadn't registered uh in fact uh when you get your mom product you should probably register i suppose they could hassle you for uh not having registered but she just asked me where did i get it how long ago was it? What model was it? That was it. And uh, she was willing to send me all the parts that were necessary and even more. Um, so what a what an awesome, awesome company. So you can come here and I'll put the link in the, uh, the description. Uh, you can call them. It, it might be easy just to call them if you don't know exactly uh, what parts you need. Um, they'll walk you through. Um, but certainly you should register and if you come to the installation section um, you, you know you got the installation videos here warranty information registering the product all these links are on the this warranty page if you come here they have a lot of videos here um, but I couldn't find the exact one that I, I needed so that's why I did my own uh, Hope this video helped you guys and uh, if it did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.